In a region often marred by conflict, the effectiveness of military forces is a crucial factor. Yet, the Arab armed forces, despite significant investments and vast resources, often struggle to achieve their strategic objectives. What are the underlying reasons behind this ineffectiveness? Today, we'll delve into three main factors that contribute to this perplexing issue. First, political interference and corruption. This issue is pervasive across many Arab nations, where the military often plays a dual role, not just as a defender of the state, but as a key player in the political arena. In many Arab countries, the military is tightly controlled by the ruling elite. Leaders frequently appoint loyalists, rather than competent officers to key positions, ensuring the military's allegiance to the regime. This practice undermines meritocracy and effectiveness. For instance, in countries like Egypt, Syria, and Iraq, we've seen how military promotions are often based on loyalty, rather than capability. This leads to a top-heavy command structure filled with officers who may lack the necessary skills and experience. Second, outdated military structures. Many Arab armed forces are organized in ways that reflect outdated doctrines and Cold War era strategies, which are ill suited for modern warfare. Traditional hierarchical structures in these militaries can be rigid and slow to adapt. The chain of command is often cumbersome, making it difficult to respond quickly to dynamic battlefield conditions. Furthermore, there's a reliance on large, conventional forces rather than the more agile and flexible units needed for contemporary conflicts. Take the example of the Iraqi army during the 2003 invasion. Despite having a sizable force, it was structured and trained for conventional state-on-state -state warfare, which proved ineffective against the unconventional tactics used by coalition forces. Third, Insufficient training and professional development. Effective military forces are built on rigorous training and continuous professional growth, areas where many Arab militaries fall short. Training programs in several Arab nations are often outdated, with a focus on basic drills and rote learning, rather than critical thinking and advanced tactics. Moreover, Opportunities for officers to attend international military schools or participate in joint exercises with foreign armies are limited. The result is a force that may be physically disciplined, but lacks the strategic and tactical sophistication required for modern warfare. This gap is evident in various conflicts where Arab forces have struggled against more agile and better trained adversaries. Conclusion so, to summarize, the ineffectiveness of Arab armed forces can largely be attributed to political interference and corruption, outdated military structures, and insufficient training and professional development. These factors combine to create a military that, despite its potential, struggles to achieve its objectives effectively. Understanding these challenges is the first step towards addressing them. By recognizing and reforming these systemic issues, there is hope that Arab armed forces can evolve into more effective and capable institutions. Thanks for watching.